Hello, welcome to episode 370 of the official podcast. It is now 2024. We are uh the f- this is the first thing we're doing in the new year for you guys anyway it's the second for me but it's the first for you guys so it's the new year and we had a new year's re- re- uh, resolution um to get rid of kaya he's gone <laughs> that's right <laughs> he's not yep. here anymore yeah we got together we said our new year's resolution is no more kaya so that's why he's not here and let's never speak of it again okay yeah so how's covid feeling for you andrew um, I'm pretty much better for the most part. It was a uh, good fucking horrid three days, two or three days at the beginning, but then it's just like mildly annoying. How many times have you had it? Three. Three. Did it get better subsequent mm-hmm. times? Because I'm just worried about getting it again now. Uh, so first time was awful. Second time was only bad for a day. And the most recent time was probably the worst one. Oh, so no. it fluctuates. <laughs> God damn it. Does it just depend yeah. on the strain or like, is it how your physical well being is at the time that dictates it? I don't know. It, it It's probably strain dependent. I, I have no clue, but yeah, the most recent time was mm. fucking terrible. God damn it. Yeah. It's just made me so aware of how people are around everything like i don't know man you ordered i ordered delivery food because i'm like i'm not going to go out but then in my paranoid brain i thank god the person who dropped this off touched this what if they have covid oh god yeah yeah what if he's like snuck a bite or something as well he (laughs) He took my burger out carefully took a bite rewrapped it so i wouldn't notice also people are crazy i mean there's potentially people that are out there that are just like they're delivery drivers and they just cough on the food on purpose just to infect people like you never know That's, oh, I, I, i'm afraid of that kind of shit definitely i was in the grocery store earlier today and i heard a w- woman cough in the produce aisle and i just walked the other way i was like no I'm <laughs> i do that same thing <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> i ain't risking it i like held my breath like i was an astronaut or <laughs> underwater uh diver <laughs> or something to, just to get through the the area I don't know. do the same shit. Oh my god. It's like, it, it's stuff that you wouldn't have ever thought about before COVID, but now it's just constantly on your brain. Yep. And I hate I hate it. I, I'm vaccinated. I've got boosters. I felt like a mm-hmm. fucking unstoppable superhuman. I, I went out, I did everything, and then I got this. And now I just keep thinking, man, I don't want to go out because people, people got me sick. And uh, if I just avoid people, I won't get sick again. But there's no way to live. Yeah, it's also not entirely true. Even if you avoid everyone, you can still get it just through proxy. Yeah. I've kind of ascertained that I just have to give up and throw myself into the cesspool. See what happens. I think I, I honestly think the reason why, like, my third COVID was the worst one is because I had spent so long inside, like not doing I was, anything. That's what I was going to say. I was going to yeah. say that. I was going to say there's an argument to be ma- made mm. that like the longer you stay inside as well, you're destroying the weaker your you immune get. system yeah. for when you finally go out. And then it's just going to hit you like a ton of bricks. So that's interesting yeah. that <laughs> you've made the same connection. <laughs> Maybe that is why. I, I think it hardest. probably is. Yeah. I, I yeah. really do think that is why it was so fucking bad for the most recent one. You're right. Yeah, interesting. So go out every single day. Yeah, kissing babies, campaigning. It's like exp- exposure therapy mm-hmm. for your for your body. Well, that is how it works, actually. Yeah, well, yeah, that's how you mm. build your immune system in general. That's why uh, mm. people want kids to play outside mm. and really encourage it because they're like, "Hey, if you stick fucking dirt in your mouth and worms and all this shit, you're gonna build up immunities to this stuff as you get older instead of staying inside." Yeah, the the whole fucking grandparents meme of like them saying, "Well, in our day, we used to go out and roll around in mud and shit like that," and and you know, <laughs> they still do when you're not yeah. looking. Yeah, my my grandpa's out there all the time rolling around in mud. He actually is. My grandpa is like an actual dirt degenerate. He he is always dirty <laughs> with like just mud and shit caked all over him because he's like he loves working in his garden and shit like that. And also, to be fair. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen him really sick, so maybe there is truth to it. Maybe he's crusted up so much that he has like a protective layer from all the grime on him now. 
I mean, it's possible. I'll put you in touch with them. Maybe you two can become fast friends and figure out how to solve your issues, Andrew, with getting sick. Can he replace Kaya on our show and give us, like, fatherly advice? He would actually go so hard on this show. Like, he would be <laughs> insane. <laughs> it would be, yeah, he's actually, like, probably the funniest person in my family. Like, just the wackiest, most insane man. He's got the... It's sad because, obviously, he's getting old. Like all grandparents do um uh, he's here he's hearings going so he'll just he, he'll partake in conversations but it's very obvious that he's just making shit up because he can't understand or hear <laughs> us so he'll just like interject with the most out of left field shit and then <laughs> confuses all of us but then he's just like nodding enthusiastically shit like that yeah it i haven't understood a thing that he said in the last <laughs> three years <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a delight like a yeah, fucking is, treat i love him Oh, well, what we could do to replace Kaya as our fourth host, because that's the direction we're taking this new year, we could use Mickey Mouse. Are you guys down for that? Yep. Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie. He's available mm -hmm. now. The first iteration yeah. of Mickey Mouse is now officially public domain. So as long as we keep it the whistling black and white version, we can't be sued. We can just use it for whatever we want. Yeah. Do you think how the long Disney... until one of the... Go ahead. I was gonna say how long until one of those shitty fucking uh, Winnie the Pooh style horror movies comes out oh, starring yeah. this version of Mickey Mouse? Probably already in production, releasing in a month, something yeah. like that. Oh, Jesus man. Christ! I, I hate that you said that. I didn't even think of that, but now that you said that, you're completely right. That's the first thing that's gonna happen. Oh man. Yeah, but uh, like on the other hand, like a really cool kind of um horror anime or animation starting that like really bloody and gory could be fucking pretty cool i think it's a cool style i really do think it's a cool style yeah it's i don't know man it, it just it's just i'd rather see something more interesting than the obligatory you know turn it into a spooky horror thing you know what i mean Oh, the fuck! The Winnie the Pooh shit was the laziest shit ever. Yeah. Like it was very obviously just, hey, oh, this shit's uh, in the public domain and people know Winnie the Pooh. Let's just make the most fucking vanilla. Well, not vanilla, but the most boring shit ever, and just get people in because it's a wacky premise, you know? Yeah, it's definitely just using the brand to get people to watch your yeah. generic slasher movie. I don't know. I feel I feel yeah. like the potential is just so much bigger than that, though. Like Winnie the Pooh. Man, that was that's such like a wide open premise of you have cuddly talking animals that people recognize. You could do so many different things, and yet it's always going to be make it a slasher movie, make it a horror movie. I guess because it's cheap. You can do anything with uh, like anything with any property as long as your imagination is there, which is fitting for Winnie the Pooh. But I feel like the core concept of Winnie the Pooh was perfected when they made Winnie the Pooh. Like, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, uh, like, you know, TV series and books and stuff like that. Like, I don't know where you get, where you go from there other than just, like, retargeting kids. Like, the horror movie was never going to be, like, actually good. It wasn't about being good. It was just about getting some ticket sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Brand recognition. Peer and just the fact that it exists, going, we made a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Ooh, look at that. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Do you yep. think do you think anything would have come of it if it was let's say successful in an actually good movie would they have oh, like Oh absolutely of course if it was They're still making another one. Wait, they're making another? Mhm. Mm really? <laughs> I thought everyone hated it. They did. It was fucking terrible, but they are making another one. <laughs> oh god damn it. Did it was it was it extremely successful? Uh I'll look for you real quick. Let me see. Yeah, look it up. I mean, it, uh, it would have to be to get a sequel, right? Yeah, budget was 100k, box office was 5.2 mil. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Yep, that'll do it. Unless they keep their budget at like 100k again, which is like pretty insane for a movie. Um, like, I feel like they won't have the same level of success for the sequel because people are going to be like onto their tricks. Who's going to go back to watch Winnie the Pooh, like Slasher number two? Like the, the gimmick's up now. You've seen yep. it. Yeah. Unless, unless you add Steamboat Willie into it. 
Well, yeah. But as long as the budget's super <laughs> small, I think any movie can be successful as long as yeah. it hits theaters. Even if this oh, thing yeah, just hits sure. 1 million, that's what 10 times the budget profit. It's like why not? Mm-hmm. May as well. Yeah. 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 Oh. Right, that's why I'll never understand why there's not more of these. <laughs> just in general. Yeah. Yeah. Well, James what is his name? James Wan? Is it James mm-hmm. Wan? Yeah, he perfected For that Aquaman. whole model of Oh, was that Aquaman? No, wait, you're talking about Blumhouse, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah Blumhouse. but no, no, no. But it, I'm pretty sure it was James Wan of no. Aquaman fame that started that with Saw, right? I, Am I crazy? I Blair Witch I think would you're be on the some first stupid one. juice right now. Am, uh, who, who did Saw? What? I swear it was James Wan. Was, no. Am I crazy? Well, Blair Witch would have been the first one. It wouldn't have been whoever directed yeah, yeah, the first true. song. But like, like, can we just focus on Saw? Was it James Wan? Because I've... Uh, I'm, yeah, it was. It was James Wan. He was the director. I don't know if he was the producer, but I would assume he was if he was the director for this kind of indie, at the time, indie film. Uh, produced. You no, know, it wasn't produced by him. But regardless, yeah, like that kind of saw thing. Their budget was one million, and their box office was like a hundred and fifty million for like saw. And then every saw after that, like they they did go down in their box office, but they kept their budgets like really conservative. And I think that's what started that whole movement. That's horror across the board, though. Yeah, that Blair Witch started, is the best example, but it's all horror. That started with Blair Witch. Blair Witch had a budget of like twenty dollars, and it made hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Is it something that only horror can do? No, it's really not. Like uh, Blumhouse again. Upgrade. Upgrade had a pretty low budget, and it made here. I just looked at it. Three million dollar budget made seventeen million. That's still a huge financial success. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. But also, I I feel like with horror movies, you don't need uh big actors or big star talent. Yeah, no, you know, yeah. horror films. So that cuts down on the cost a lot. Whereas with action movies, Upgrade, I think, is probably like a bit of a. Uh, it, it it doesn't follow the same rules for some reason. I'm not sure, and as, as an outlier. But with most action movies, you need like a big name attached to it to really sell tickets. You are onto something, and it it does show in Upgrade. Upgrade is a good movie, but it has a very wimpy car chase that I remember. <laughs> and if they had more money in the car chase or in that scene, it probably would have been way better. I think the whole thing with horror is the actual bare bones that you need to make a successful movie requires basically nothing, just interesting cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here, I've got I've got an an even wilder and more topical one for you. Godzilla minus one. Budget of around 15. So fucking good. It's probably my favorite movie of the year. (laughs) Budget of around 15. No, go yeah. Say what you were gonna say, and then we'll gush over it. We haven't gushed about okay. it yet. Go. Fifteen million dollar budget, eighty one million dollar box office. Insane for a foreign language film, by the way. That is absolutely insane. Well, also insane because of how good the movie looks to do it on fifteen mil. I think if you oh, just yeah. have like a talented team in place, you can do lower budget movies that are really, really good, even outside of horror. Yeah, fifteen million dollars for that is actually insane. I don't know what the fuck like kind of it's kind of exposed how much of a money sink hollywood is to me i i always knew that but they are they must be so inefficient with their money or it's just going to ridiculous like self-serving things it has to be because you make a film this good on 15 million dollars and the special effects still look incredible in it and there's still a lot of like special effects in it as well like they didn't skimp out on anything it didn't feel like oh man it's such a good movie you know uh, my partner, uh, she, she didn't want to go see it. And I said, no, I've heard it's pretty good. Let's, let's go. And she's like, oh, I really don't want to go. Godzilla fucking sucks. Those Godzilla movies, I hate them. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But like, this one's, you know, Japanese. It's a foreign film. Let's just go see it and see what it's all about. I'm hearing good things. We walk out of that. She said that, I think that was my favorite movie of the year. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, me too. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> like Godzilla is actually my favorite movie of the year. It is actually insane how good that movie was. Andrew, it, have you seen it? No. So good. Not yet. It's um, so good. Is anyone in that cast a big budget actor? Or are they all just lower end actors? No clue. So that's because that's an interesting no point on the numbers there. The whole movie, Godzilla Minus One, was 15 million, right? 
Um, mm -hmm. The whole money pit argument, Jackson, let's look at The Rock, for example, one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. <laughs> the Rock takes $20 million per movie. So if The oh Rock was God. in Godzilla minus one, he would be paid more than the entire budget of the movie. So when you look at big Hollywood <sighs> movies, they have like six, seven, eight big stars in them, all earning salaries around that number. I never fucking understand The Rock's appeal. I get that he was like a big WWE star or whatever, and that's mm -hmm. where most of the appeal comes from originally. But he's every movie I see him in, he's so... He's the same. He's the same thing in each thing. It's yeah. just the rock. I don't even see the the thing that he's playing. It's just the rock. Twenty million dollars on that. We've picked on the rock. I didn't mean to use him as like, hey, let's pick on the rock. Hey, Kaya, we didn't mean to use him as like we picked on the rock. I meant to point him out as like he's you know a triple A Hollywood celebrity who gets paid these yeah. rates. So if you have a, a handful of them in one movie, that's where all the money's already going, and then you have special effects and everything else on top yeah. of it. But I it's agree. quick to see when you use these giant inflated names that already your budget's got to be a ridiculous number, you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with your point. It's kind of what I was saying before. Sorry, I got sidetracked by you mentioning The Rock, and I just laser focused <laughs> on that because I fucking <laughs> I'm just getting so sick and tired of him, man. The Rock yeah. does suck, though. Like he he, he super yeah, he sucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kyle, what do you think of The Rock, who's been here the whole episode? Yeah, sorry, I'm tardy. Um, didn't we already talk about The Rock sucking? Didn't what was that movie? <laughs> Black Adam turn everybody against him because he didn't yeah, want to be the bad so guy or bad. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that was everyone a bad hates him now, which is surprising to me because I faintly remember you guys liking him before that. I used to. Yeah, I do. Oh, I, not before I used to that, but I used to a while ago. Loved him as a wrestler. Thought it was cool. He started mm -hmm. acting, and then it was because of the wrestling, right? For both of you, probably. Yeah, that's absolutely why. I really liked him in Rampage. That was a fun movie. Mm. Well, the wrestling thing would explain why I have no like love for him. Because I, I, yeah, I missed them, the wrestling stuff. What, mm. Kaya? So is it just the Black Adam stuff that turned everyone sour? No, he's just a massive fake douchebag and he plays the same role in every <laughs> movie he's in. <laughs> like, it's, there's plenty of reasons not uh, to like The Rock. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, yeah, actually, he is more... F he's not as... He's not more fake than all the other celebrities. I feel no, like he's just shoved he in your face more. No, I feel no, like he's he shoving your face. So more. fucking fake. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I, I totally disagree. What does fake mean? As opposed to who in Hollywood? I just to give you an example, I just made a video on this because it's it's so meaningless, but it, it really got under my skin. So he's now three times publicly stated that he's trying in and out for the first time on his Instagram page. So he's like, <laughs> oh, I'm finally trying in and out for the first time ever. It's gonna be so fucking good. Oh. Comes back a, a couple years later, he's like all right, I've never tried in and out in my life. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. And then he just did it again last <laughs> week for the third time. He's like, all right, it's time I finally try in and out burgers. So he does this whole video where he goes through the drive through and it's basically just him getting his dick sucked by everyone there. It's like, oh my God, it's The Rock. And he's like, yep, it's The Rock. What'd you say in Spanish? <laughs> did you say I'm handsome? He's like, oh yeah, you said I'm handsome in Spanish, didn't you? He's like, oh, I can't wait to try this in and out shit for the first time. <laughs> like, he's just so fucking fake. I hate him. I hate, I hate it. That's absolutely, you pinpoint what I hate. It's like kind of, he knows he's the biggest star in the room at any time and he like flaunts it. I don't like that kind of like attitude. Well, it's more than that too. Like he's still, he is legitimately, like, I don't I think, yeah, I just don't think he has any of his own thoughts left anymore. He's just <laughs> PR speak and marketing. <laughs> yeah but again i don't think that's any more f i mean yeah it's more in your face but i i think most actors at that level are probably like that they're just like trotted out for whatever their pr team wants them to yeah do. but the rock is constant like even when he was at jeff Keeley's summer game fest he couldn't go for the two minute video he sent jeff Keeley without mentioning like have you guys tried Zoa. my drink zoa <laughs> like have you guys yeah. given that a whirl yet <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about people like Taylor Swift, where it's like, at what point, like, how much of this is still human and how much is a yeah, walking board so of yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so hard to tell what is, and it's, and it's crazy because people out there will just eat it up as, oh my God, she, she she's so real because she's, has so the authentic. Same, like, she's talking directly to me. She understands yeah. my problems. Yeah. yeah. No, she Wait, doesn't. She's me for Wait, real. Yeah. It's all manufactured. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Who would have thought that 16-year-old yeah. girls were impressionable? That's weird. 
<laughs> but The Rock's not appealing to 20 uh, yeah, 16 year old the, girls. <laughs> and I don't know, 20 something year old dude bros. Whatever demographic he's going I, for. I don't get what his demographic is. Like, it's <laughs> wrestling fans that are now turned off from him. Why is he still worth $20 million? He hasn't even been a wrestler in a long time, right? Well, he's, he, no, he still makes appearances, but, like, he's mm. he's still one of, like, the best wrestlers ever. Like, he's, he's earned yeah. that. He's been grandfathered into having fans there. But in general, like, his uh, social media content, I don't know who that's for. I Stop really it. don't know who that's for. Based on what I've seen, yeah, I, most I of the time he just finds a locale, like a gym or a balcony, and he takes a selfie video and goes, Hey, this is The Rock, and I was just thinking, you need to do it. You, whatever you're struggling with, The Rock <laughs> understands. And, like, that's every video he makes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but add in, like, a copious amount of, like, endorsements. For yeah, obviously underarm like tank Zola. top in frame or, or, or his energy yeah, drink Zola. on the counter. Yeah. Every time. It is so, like, that, that Jeff Keighley shit is so fucking hilarious because, I, I can't remember if you mentioned it, but he was there to promote a different thing. He was yeah. promoting a, a movie already. <laughs> like, he was there to promote a movie. I can't What was the movie? It might have been Black Adam. It was Adam. Black Adam. It yeah, was. he was there to promote Black Adam. And then he fucking slipped an, another endorsement into that endorsement or advertisement. There's, like, so many layers of endorsements there. Like, Zoa as well as Black Adam. And he couldn't even be bothered to pretend to care about gaming <laughs> at all yeah i mean i oh. half of that blame goes to fucking jeff keely as well or, or their team for like paying the 20 million dollars or whatever for, for the rock oh no uh, I, I, show up uh -uh. for that i have no doubt black adam marketing budget was used to be pre presented there because that movie was looking like it was true, shaping up yeah. to be a flop so they probably paid to be there yeah true you're right uh, that's probably why they were allowed to do the Zoa stuff as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm so I'm scrubbing <laughs> through this fucking reveal that you guys are talking about. The Rock goes on for a minute and a half of just rambling about this movie. It's so long, like it just never cuts away. It's just a shaky selfie cam of him just talking on and on and on. Oh man, this is embarrassing. At least, yeah. so for all Vin Diesel's faults, at least I can tell he's passionate about his own fucking shit. Like he he like he does seem really passionate about the uh the what's it called the Riddick Fast series, and Furious series, mm -hmm. and Riddick, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel bad for him because there was this one interview, which by now I'm sure they've scrubbed off the internet with their lasers. It's still but... there. I already know which one you're talking about. Yeah, where he said, "Yeah, man, I'm kind of tired of doing Fast and Furious. I'll be honest with you. I just want to do Riddick. <laughs> just, and that was like seven movies ago. The poor bastard. I say that, but you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. Vin Diesel's so, in some hot water. You guys see all the Vin Diesel stuff? No, what happened? Is he no. is he on Epstein's list? <laughs> I mean, I guess we're about to find out. But no, he was <laughs> he just got sued for sexual battery by a former oh. assistant. Ooh, well, that's not fun. Oh, jeez." Yeah. yeah. yeah what does no that fun. entail? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't gone through the lawsuit yet, but it's uh, one of his old assistants is claiming that she was the victim of sexual battery at the hands of Vin Diesel. And she also revealed that apparently he like uh, he had women be paid to be around him. So he was never seen as alone or something. I can't quite recall now. <laughs> as if as if you need what? to pay women to do that. If he's a celebrity. Yeah, I have no idea. It was, it was just one of the he's positions. He's filthy rich. And famous, why would you have to pay an entourage to hang out? Well, maybe with it them? was before he was famous. Well, no, 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 no. He he still was famous and rich at the time. But it's just one of those things where it's supposed to like keep up appearances, I guess. Maybe. But here, I, I found it. The suit describes uh, jo Jonason. Jo I don't know how to say that name. As a recent film school program graduate at the time whose job responsibilities included organizing parties and accompanying Diesel to parties and ensuring that she was in close physical proximity to him in case photographs were taken of him with women when he attends events without his longtime girlfriend. So it sounds like he had women like stand around with him for photos if they like paparazzi caught him. So it looked like he always had women around him, I guess. Wait, but that's so he but he's got a longtime girlfriend. They just said that if she couldn't be there, though. So it made him look like a cheetah. What the fuck is the the selling point? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Also, they make this sound so nefarious when it's just PR. Like, yeah, make yeah, him yeah. look famous. Well, so it is what? still that's still weird. But I mean, that's not the sexual battery. That's that's this is just one of the things she describes. 
The sexual battery yeah. thing is the issue here. I, I don't have an yeah. issue with him paying women to be around him for whatever reason. No, like, like that's not, that's obviously not the core component of the lawsuit. Well, why is it included in there? <laughs> why is it in there? I don't get why it's in they there. They just sprinkle that shit on top. I'm no, telling this you, is, just to make him something more nefarious. No, what are you talking about? This is the, this is how she got put in that position where she was allegedly oh. the victim of sexual battery. She's ah. going over what her position was. So she had to describe right. what she was doing in close proximity to Vin. What the fuck? It's not like they just <laughs> put this in here for no reason. I thought, I thought you meant, yeah, I thought you meant it was like an mm. entirely additional thing where she was just no. describing how he acts towards women or whatever. If it's like no, she's just, directly involved it, with her, then yeah, that makes sense to be there. It was describing why she was there, like what the job was. Yeah, that's fair. So how long ago was this allegedly? It was 2010, September 2010. All right. I mean, I'm going to stay out of it. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not going to show up and testify? What do you mean stay out of it? I just, every single time this shit happens, it's like, oh, that fucking rapist. And then you find out, oh, she was lying or he was lying. It's the fucking... um. Pirates of the Caribbean actor thing again, Amber Heard. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. everyone's going to pick teams here again, aren't they? This is going to be live streamed. I don't think, I don't think people are going to care that much on Twitter about the Vin Diesel one. It doesn't have that same kind of impact as Johnny Depp. I think this is the only time we'll hear about it. Yeah, maybe. But Car fans might know. But hopefully, if Vin Diesel actually is a sexual battery kind of guy, he gets his comeuppance for it. Well, obviously, obviously, no one's <laughs> saying anything against that. What kind of, what kind of statement is that? That's that's obvious. Hopefully, the bad man goes behind bad bars if he's found guilty. <laughs> <laughs> bad bars? Is he a rapper? <laughs> I, think it, I think it just needed to be said. Yeah. No one's going to disagree with you there. <laughs> yeah, what a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> I think justice should be served. Just saying. Yeah, I think if he acted at, at all inappropriately with those women he hired, he should go to jail. There we go. I think he should say sorry if he did it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like in front of the whole class. Read yeah, letter, in front sorry. of the whole court. That mm -hmm. has to be his sentence. You have to say you're sorry. So, Kaya, we, we were kind of like mid-discussion mm. when you fucking hopped back in here. Uh, what, where mm -hmm. were you? What happened? Oh, I switcherooed myself. So today, we wanted to record the Criminally Stupid Jackson. So oh, I have yeah. a few alarms on my phone that I just, I don't make new alarms. I just switch around the times on the existing alarms. Same. <laughs> so I took my morning alarms and I put them at like, you know, four or three or whatever, whenever we decided to record. So I didn't have my morning alarms anymore. Uh, so yeah, kind of made that little mistake there. So you just slept in? Yeah, nothing happens. I just overslept by 15 minutes. I looked at my phone and I was like, why the fuck do I have so many notifications? Oh shit. And then I jumped up. So Charlie, uh, Charlie stayed home for New Year's last night, resting his new tattoo. Andrew, did you do anything for New Year's? I had COVID. So, no. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I thought you said it's better now. It is, but I'm still I'm still testing positive. Yeah. Oh. Is that your personality now? Yeah, that's my whole <laughs> stick. That's my fun gimmick. 2024, it's gonna be COVID positive <laughs> from here on out, baby. Yeah. yeah. There comes COVID Andrew again. Did you watch the countdown on TV? Or no. Did you do anything? No. Nope. I've been I've actually been hitting nostalgia holes real hard. I've been watching Marvel versus Capcom tournaments. They're just, they're tickling me real good lately. People still play the game, apparently. It's real good. It's good yeah. shit. Um, I do love nostalgia. Oh, yeah. That game was near and dear to my heart. But no, I've, I'm still blowing positive COVID tests, so I've just been at home for the last week and a half doing fuck all, watching the world go by all and right. wondering why I'm not there. Fair enough. Well, yeah. you'll, you'll get out there soon. You, I hope you, uh, so. Get back up on your feet and back out there and you'll get COVID again immediately. Yeah. Uh, because that's how it goes. How about you, uh, Kai? Did, did you do anything for New Year's? I, I was raising the roof. Um, my wife and I <laughs> stayed home by ourselves and played Baldur's Gate. Oh, Gift my fucking good. For the midnight. Yeah. For all you and that was my New Year's wish. Jackson, this was literally my New Year's wish. I told my wife, yeah. I want one thing. 
I want to stay home. I am so tired of dinner parties and people. I just, you and me, I don't want to hear anyone else. And that's it. And I got my that's wish. Fair. And it was fun. I, I did the opposite. I, so the last seven years I did that. Basically I stayed in every new year's. I was like, I'm too cool for new year's. I don't want to do it. Um, and then this year I was like, all right, we'll try something different. We're going to go out for new year's. I went out and it was the most excruciating fucking time of my life. I hated it. <laughs> new year's, new year's out sucks. You, you did make the right decision. I would have killed to be home playing Baldur's Gate three with my uh, partner what well, the fucking fireworks and shit were so pathetic first of all they were like really wimpy where we were so that already sucked and it was super crowded but that wasn't the issue the issue was we left and then we were stuck in standstill traffic because there was only only one road out from where the fucking event was being held we were stuck in standstill traffic for about two hours like an hour <laughs> and a half of that time we were literally stationary because we were parked at the very back of the fucking place. <laughs> so we were in the car for an hour and a half, not moving an inch <laughs> on the road, by the way, it wasn't moving. Like I'm not even, that's not an exaggeration. We, we didn't move. We actually like, we parked uh, an hour and a half in, we parked the car because we're like, this is what we're going to be here until like 3 AM at this point. Like there's no, there's no getting out. And so we parked the car and we were going to walk to a different road somewhere closer, like to a bunch of other roads to, catch an uber or something of that you know strategy to get out um and then just come back and pick up the car in the morning so we got out and we we're walking uh like 10 minutes 10 minutes uh down the road or whatever and then the line started moving so we had to run back to the car to hop back in the line to finally get out and so we didn't have to do the whole uber thing and we finally got out but yeah it took like two and a half hours to get back it was i'm never doing it again ever it was it was excruciating. So what was your what was your like end goal? What were you doing all this for? What do you mean? Like where where were you going? Home after new, the New Year's event. Oh, this was after. From I thought where? you were trying to yeah, get to New asking. Year's. Oh no no sorry yeah so we were there for the fireworks. The fireworks happened and then like everyone oh, leaves I obviously see. so everyone hops in their cars to leave at the same time. So we were. Just, I, like, I thought you spent New Year's like actual new year's in your car because you missed what you were going to okay <laughs> well we kind of did i mean but we were out there like for the fireworks but yeah we kind of did spend the majority yeah. of our new years in the car which fucking sucked it's just not worth it i'll, like, I'll I, take I the i didn't feel anything yeah i'll take the controversial opinion i don't <laughs> I didn't give a feel anything i don't give a shit about fireworks anymore <laughs> I, I really don't care they're just whatever. They're the same everywhere. I just don't care. I don't even bother looking. I think they can be cool. I think they, they can, can be. And the, dro the drone stuff that they're doing now is pretty fucking cool. Um, no, drones are different. Cool. Drones are badass. Yeah, yeah. Drones, they have like coordinated shows and little animations and stuff, but like just actual regular fireworks, unless it's like, I don't know, a theme park where I know it's going to be really huge. I just don't care. It's, it, eh, you know? Doesn't excite well, me most, like in the to. in the big cities in the big cities the firework displays are pretty next level from what I can see on TV anyway. But like Meh. in my local region, uh, it was like a three minute display maybe of the most wimpiest fucking fireworks I think I've ever seen in my life, and I was like, this is this is not worth it. There's no way that anyone could think that this is worth <laughs> you it. You had an existential crisis. This is all not worth it. This is just nothing. Twenty twenty four sucks. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, it was also raining and stuff and pretty shitty weather, so I didn't have a great time. God. <laughs> yeah. The most depressing time. Just yeah. see, should have just sat home. Cozy. Yeah. Cup of know, cocoa right. chips, Baldur's Gate. I felt so I felt so bad because I was like I, I took uh my girlfriend out for a really nice dinner and stuff. Um, she didn't want to go out at all. She was like, no, let's just stay home. And I'm like, but oh, we do that no. every year. Let's, <laughs> let's go out. I really uh, like, I want to, I want to do something different. I want to go out. And then she's like, oh, fine. We'll go out. And then <laughs> I had to look at her while we were sitting out in that car for an hour and a half. <laughs> and she was so fucking mad at me. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I, this, I'm, I'm sorry, babe. There's like, this is on me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. See, that's how they get you. They make you feel like the entire culture just makes you feel FOMO. You think, oh man, am I really going to sit home at New Year's like a loser? Or am I a fucking lonely incel? I, we got to go out and live our life a little, right? It's New Year's. Well, 
And then you find yourself just sitting in that car going, this fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. I wish I was home right now. I think I think if we planned it, if I planned it better, it was very spontaneous. Like the afternoon, I was like, "All right, let's go, let's do it. I'm ready. I want to see. I want to see what New Year's is like now." Um, so it was very spontaneous. And if we had a park somewhere like even marginally better, we probably would have avoided most of the disappointment. But still, like at the end of the day, it fucking sucked. So never again. Not doing that ever <laughs> again. Well, at least you learned your lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll join us, Jackson. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how many fucking people there were. Our our local region is kind of, I mean, it's kind of large, but also not. But the, the beach was like completely packed with people. There would have been over like 50,000 people probably. Uh, maybe that's a bit much, but it was packed. Like you couldn't you couldn't see any like grain of sand on the beach. It was just full of people. Um, and the, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a drone demonstration because there were drones flying around in the sky before the fireworks and leading up to the fireworks. But it turns out there were police drones and they were just scanning the perimeter. Like I, I saw the drone fly up and like shine its fucking high beam flashlight directly in some kid's face <laughs> so they were like <laughs> patrolling the skies it was pretty crazy i didn't know that they used drones That's that funny. way yeah and anyway, you didn't know the cops use drones now yeah for everything well, no, i i live like i live in a small ish area it just seems like <laughs> an over-the-top use of force really <laughs> oh they just do yes. it for fun Whenever the cops can get funding, they just go, uh, we want drones. No, no, not for fun. I mean, you know, we're going to hook it up with like facial recognition cameras and whatnot, sir. So please money for drones and other toys. I I wouldn't be surprised if they get RC cars next. Jackson, (laughs) you should come to America where instead of drones, they just get actual tanks. And they're like, yes, we need this for a town of a thousand people. Why do you ask? They just drive them around and parade them. I mean, that's pretty cool. It is pretty fucking pretty cool. cool. Yeah. That's just a, that's a sh- more of a strong show of force instead of like surveillance equipment, I feel. Yeah, you should just come to America in general. Why? I think you'd see a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, we got really cool stuff. We have Disney. Yeah, like food. I've been there. Yeah, but Every, you, could, I, I, you could go regularly. We went to Star Wars Disney World or whatever that was Disney World Star Wars Land or whatever it was called. It was the most disappointing moment of my life. That's when <laughs> I think that's the moment Star Wars was dead to me. <laughs> I was like, Jesus that, Christ. That probably had something to do with it. I yeah. think about that yeah. trip all the time, every single goddamn week, because I will never get over as we're walking through Toy Story World. I saw a woman dying of heat stroke and the guy dressed as Woody puts his hands on his knees and leans forward and he goes, you all right? <laughs> She's just on the ground, slowly <laughs> fading away. <laughs> that that <laughs> trip when you came, Jackson, was really... Well, I, I think this was the, the second time you came. I yeah, feel like was... every time you come to America, we do our best to make sure you end up hating something that you previously <laughs> loved. Because yeah, the second time you came, we brought you to Legoland. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we bought we bought you the Taj Mahal. The Legoland trip was great. The Legoland trip yeah, was yeah, amazing was, because yeah. we were in the car with six of us and we kept passing the fucking like music around and no one cared and absolutely no one cared. And I said, all right, if no one cares, I'm going to choose the music. And I just kept putting on the Venga Boys. We like to party over and over and over again <laughs> for like two hours. <laughs> I don't even remember that, but I just remember we got you the Taj Mahal, and you really didn't want the Taj Mahal at all, but we, we, we got you the Taj Mahal, and like, a, like basically when you catch a kid smoking a cigarette, and it's like, you gotta smoke the whole pack, yeah. we made you build the Taj Mahal with me and Matt, and you've never built Lego since. I said this is this is too large for us. I I just want to enjoy Lego. I don't want it to be a job that when, when we get back to your house, it's gonna take like eight hours to build this thing or collectively. And then we got so bored of it. No, the best part of the Taj Mahal is it's very, very symmetrical. So the instructions would yeah. say build this one column that takes twenty minutes. Okay, there's four of them. Do it three more times. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't no. even because it's so symmetrical, it's so repetitive. It was just I know, we like didn't even a... finish it. Oh man. Oh, and also, you didn't buy me it. You've still got it. <laughs> That's yours. He bought you it. Well, yeah, but I did it for you. <laughs> you did not. I begged not to. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's because you didn't know what was good for you. Why did we choose the Taj Mahal? Because it was the biggest one they had. 
Oh, there, yeah, it was either right. that or wasn't it between that and the Millennium Falcon? And we said we would really no. think Jackson. What was the other one? It was between. They didn't, uh, they didn't have the Falcon. They didn't that was, have that it. Was yeah, was it the, there was another mm-hmm. big one. Was it like the set of Friends or something? No, it was Harry Potter. Oh, it was that was for Hogwarts was Castle. That was oh, it. yeah. It would have been Castle. Yeah. 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 I would have preferred that, that one. That would have been so much cooler. No, yeah, we thought about it. We cooler. said Jackson would really appreciate the Taj Mahal over Hogwarts. The, the Taj Mahal had the second most pieces. <laughs> it was like the <laughs> highest age bracket expertise requirements. We're yeah. like, we got to do this one. And it's got historical merit. Legoland was a very cool experience, though. Outside of, like, that, that building the Taj Mahal sucks, but that was at your place, so I don't really associate it with Legoland itself. Legoland was yeah. fun, though. Yeah, they had a water skiing show. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, brick, brick beard. Brick beard. <laughs> brick beard. <laughs> the nefarious outlaw pirate yeah, terrorizing yeah. the good people of Brick River or whatever. And they, they didn't have yeah. the woman read her lines. They just played a voiceover of it and she pretended to say them. It was great. It was yeah. so good. Jackson, so yeah. what happened to your Legos when you moved? Because you moved into oh, yeah. a new home, right? Since then. So are they all just in boxes? No, um, so I oh. was moving them all, but Lego are very fragile, so they all just like exploded in the fucking drive over. <laughs> so I was like, I can't, like, I've lost all the instructions, first of all, and also, second of all, like, there, it's too much work. So I just donated it all to like, um, what, what do you call them? I donated them basically to children, uh, so that they're gone. <laughs> just to inexplicable um, children. Like Legos. Yeah, I just any child on the street, I was just throwing bricks at them. Um, you I, I signed didn't, each brick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to like start the fucking addiction again. And like once once that's happened once, I'm like it's sapped all fun out of it because I spent so much money on all those fucking sets. Like the fucking star destroyer. Do you remember I was sending you progress pictures on that, Charlie, when I was building it? Vaguely. Yeah, the giant Star Destroyer it was like enormous. It took me like three weeks to build and it was also pretty expensive. Um, and then that was like three months before I moved, maybe longer. But I, I like, I boxed it all up perfectly, like as perfectly as I could, like a lot of cushion in it. And as soon as I put it on the, like the ute, the, um, the utility vehicle to transport it over to the new house, it fucking it just exploded into like a million pieces and like my heart sank it was such an awful feeling <laughs> and so i'm never doing lego again just on the off chance that i move i don't know how, we need technology to prevent this from happening there needs to be do, do people like collectors just like super glue the pieces together they have to that has to be it i don't know i don't know what do you need how- like packing peanuts how would you I don't, I don't why does it get jostled around so much well if if like the connections between these larger pieces are just so uh, fickle that they just usually break anyway if you move them at all. They're more like just like mm. put them on a display case and never touch it again kind of shit for the bigger pieces anyway. So I was expecting it to break truthfully, but it still hurt when it did. Anyway, that's why I stopped. Hmm. Charlie, that's do you sad. remember that Legoland trip? We took your dad's car. And you refused to use the Sun Pass, the automatic tolls, just to make the trip take longer. So we had to stop at each individual toll booth so you could throw coins into the machine. Oh, but that was a cool experience for me as well. No, it was a fun experience. Yeah, I don't remember why. I, I don't remember why I did that. I don't know either. But I do know you did right. that for each and every toll on the way there. <laughs> oh, Fire! Man. That's pretty cool. And then we uh, and we had to find somewhere to eat, and we went into the pizza restaurant. And we looked at it and said, no, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, that food was, that food looked bad. The food there was a goddamn nightmare zone. I think we eventually settled on paninis. In like yeah. this fucking hole in the wall in the corner. Legoland was great. We ate at Legoland. We did. Yeah, we did. That's what he we meant. We did. Yeah. We had like a cafeteria style ham and cheese. It was great. Yep. It was pretty cool. I like. I was like. I think the price of admission for Legoland was like pretty reasonable as well, from what I remember. It wasn't like exorbitant like Disneyland prices. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but I don't. I don't, I don't remember being like. Offended was that where they had a roller coaster it. and the wait was two and a half hours for like a little baby At Legoland? Roller coaster? We were like the only ones there. I don't. I don't think there was a long wait for any of them. I think if there was any not like available, is because they weren't working. Mm. But I also don't remember going on any rides at Legoland. I yeah, think, uh, they. I. I don't think we did. I think they had a roller coaster no. that we were too tall for. 
and the line was really long anyway. Oh, that w- that was actually one That's of the things. Right. Yeah, you were, yeah. you were too tall for one of the rides. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember I was what though. Too tall for the roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, what a yeah, shame. That sounds about right. There was a wasn't there like a basketball game or something? Some kind of there was a hang on the kind pull of mini game we played. The, That's I it. Know, yeah, yeah. We yeah. kept hearing that while we were waiting for something. Yep. Oh, Great trip. So what if you replaced? Have you filled the hole with anything, Jackson? Uh, no, not really. I haven't been collecting anything lately. I would like to start again, but I just don't know what would replace that kind well, not of. Not necessarily hole in collecting, my heart. just like binging anything, because you have now nah. have like a Jurassic Park Star Wars Lego shaped hole in your soul. Yeah, no. Nah. Those, else? those, everything that was like really formative in terms of my personality over the last years has just slowly been sapped away, and now there's nothing there. I, I don't think anything's replaced them. Mm. That's kind of mm. sad. Yeah. But what yeah. you you guys were you guys should be happy. You guys were aiming for that. Also, Jurassic no. Park fucking sucks now. Jurassic Park sucks. Star Wars fucking yeah. sucks. Yeah. Lego, I mean, uh, it's no fault to Lego, really. It's just kind of like, I don't want to go through that process You again. finally grew up, but yeah. No, it's, not, it's not growing up. Bricks are, Lego bricks are for adults <laughs> as well. Mm. I just don't have anything else. Taxes. Mortgage. Yeah. Home improvement. Fun like adult fun things. Improving the place. <laughs> yeah. I need the sink is clogged again. Cleaning up the living yeah. room for company. Let's go ahead and pause the show for a second to talk about the best way to get some immediate savings, some money back in your wallet during this new year. One of the key areas I see people overspending monthly is in their mobile plans. Really, these big telecom companies charge a lot for what is very little at the end of the day. And Mint Mobile with their $15 a month plan is some serious bang for your buck that I think is extremely hard to beat. It's actually insane when you consider it at the end of the day that your average mobile bill in the US is near $100 a month, and this is $15 a month. It is insane. I mean, simple math, that's a a lot of money back in your pocket. I'd highly recommend checking out Mint Mobile and saving those extra, you know, $85 or whatever a month from your current plan so that it remains in your pockets instead of some greedy telco company that refuses to get with the times. You're not losing out on anything either. In fact, Mint Mobile offers one hell of a package. Unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data all delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. There's no sacrifices to be made. You can use your own phone, bring along your phone number, as well as all your existing contacts. So all you're really doing is saving a lot of money on your phone bills. That's it. So if this at all sounds interesting to you, you can go to mintmobile.com slash official to get a three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month. That's mintmobile.com slash official to cut your wireless bill to just $15 a month. Really, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. There's no better bang for your buck. Additional taxes, fees, and the restrictions apply. You can check those out at mintmobile.com. I'd highly recommend it though, because your personal budget will thank you in the long run. Thanks to Mint Mobile for sponsoring this episode, and thank you to those of you in the audience who check them out. I highly recommend you do. It really helps out the show. Thank you so much. Now, back to the goofy shit we were talking about. I honestly think 2023 has been the happiest I've been in the last, like, 13 years, though, maybe, uh, maybe like, 10 years, at least. I, I don't know. It's, it felt like a good year, and I felt like I enjoyed myself a lot, doing a lot of cool Ooh. things. Um, and that was without Star Wars Lego and Jurassic Park. So, maybe, maybe, maybe it's good. I Is it because of yeah, all the Assassin's Creed things. you played? I didn't play a single Assassin's Creed game last year. That's oh gotta God. have a huge role to play in your happiness, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got some part. I mean, it, what about Destiny? Also, like, I only played good games last year. I didn't play much Destiny 2 at all last year. Like, I stopped after Lightfall because Lightfall sucks so bad. And I was like, yeah. this is, this is kind of dead to me now. And I haven't, I haven't, I really have not touched it that much at all. I think I logged on once to play a new dungeon, which is like an end game kind of. They're kind of good. Uh, I logged on to play that once, and then I uninstalled the game after I had finished the dungeon once. So, that's it. That's the one that you know about. Yep. Yeah, that's the only one I really know about, and that's the most embarrassing thing I've seen in a video game in probably the last decade. Like, Jesus Christ. Jackson, you know what you should do? Is what? keep statistics like this uh, stinky girl 
on Twitter. Yeah. Should we turn this into yeah. a tradition reading her statistics? Have you guys seen this? Any of you? Oh, is it the, sta- is it the same girl who only showered like three times in a year? Yes. Yeah. I, Ayala, Ayala, I don't know how to say that, but she, you know, last year we read her stats and it was kind of gross because she would have sex like 200 times, but only shower five times a month max. Uh, so she has released her 2023 statistics. So went outside 248 times. That's decent. Socialized 171 times. Pooped 192 times. So she goes a lot of days without pooping, I guess. Yeah, so I was about to I, say, though. that's shockingly low. Is it? Yeah. I, I poop, yeah. Like once every two days, maybe? Brother, I pooped three times yesterday. You, yeah. You, wait, I you shit three lot. times a day? Well, it's not like the average, but I, I, yeah, I eat a very healthy, fiber filled diet. I'm shitting at least once, maybe twice a day, even. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, anyway, continue. worked 162 days, and I think she's a prostitute. I don't know what else she does. All I know is that she bragged about being a prostitute at some point. Took a stimulant 71 times, drank alcohol 121 times, danced 65 times, <clears throat> had sex 39 times, and then cried 55 times, wrote <laughs> 38 times, which I think 55 times is a lot. <laughs> I, is it? 55 times, like, I yeah, imagine that's days lot. crying. Mm. Like, she cried Whoa. that day. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what she means, right? Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Um, games seventy three times. Wait, but girls are always saying girls are always saying that they cry a lot. Like they cry, can cry over like extremely yeah. minor things, like a movie, yeah. or a cute puppy. Yeah, maybe know. she got a new cute puppy and she's crying with excitement. It could be happy crying. Yeah, could be a lot of different things. Hmm. Maybe yeah, she, she finally pooped that day and she just. Let it all out. She's so thankful. Or so maybe thankful. it was one of the 37 times she finally showered, which is like almost an average Ugh. of once every 10 days, I think. Um, is that more or less than last time? It's exactly the same. Was sick eight, bald seven times. I don't know what the difference is between that and crying. Um, oh, that's a, that's a big cry. Two times. I guess. Why even differentiate though? Um, so yeah, she's still gross. Still doesn't shower much. Once every 10 days is so gross. Yeah, I feel gross if I don't shower one. Like, I can, I can push it uh, to two days. Like, I, I can take a day off from showering and not feel bad. But if it goes beyond two days, then it's like, what am I doing? Yeah, you have the exception of like when you're traveling and you just don't have the opportunity. But at the end of the day, when you do get home or to a hotel, you feel nasty. You just want to wash off all that stink. Yeah, exactly. Grime. How do you That's what I was saying. We were talking about this in, in the Patreon chat beforehand, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't know how you could do that uh, while feeling like you have all the like fucking just dirty energy all over you, <laughs> not to sound like a, a TikTok influencer or something, but like I genuinely do feel like gross if I if I get home and I haven't like showered. Oh, if yeah, I've got all sure. the days like stink on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like getting in the bed yeah. all clean. Like I, I, yeah. There's got to be some level of clean before I can feel comfortable getting in my bed because I want my bed to stay clean. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. It's also I like you want to feel. Clean. It's also therapeutic yeah. in a way as well. <laughs> like it's like uh, a relaxing time, hopping in the shower, mm-hmm. feeling some nice warm mm-hmm. water run over you. Yeah, maybe that's mm-hmm. why she cries so much. <laughs> She's stinky. <laughs> the fumes make her eyes water. She doesn't know what to do about it. She just suffers. Um, no, I don't even know if she suffers or if she's like SpongeBob in that episode where he can't smell his own breath, but everything else is decaying around him every time he speaks. Oh, so yeah. now she just thinks she's super ugly because she doesn't realize that she has stinky breath. <laughs> and she has a best friend going like, "No, you're not ugly. You're just special." She knows the story of the ugly Look barnacle. At her. Just repeats it to herself <laughs> like a mantra. I kind of want to keep statistics like this, but I do know that I would get bored almost immediately. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is an impressive level of stat keeping, to be honest. It is to have to do this manually. Yeah, I mean, she could just be making it up. 
Speaking of stinky things, and I was meant to bring this up before when I was talking about New Year's, but I saw some videos of the New York, uh, the New York countdown or whatever the fuck it's called, um, the New Year's event at New York. The ball drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, but this was the day before. Like, it, it, they go crazy in New York. They line up for like. Yeah, they love it. People have to wear people wear adult diapers because they just can't. That's leave. what I was gonna fucking say. Yeah, get fucked. They're literally standing at the gates for like 12 hours wearing diapers just to be let in so that they can get a spot for the ball drop. Bef- the, the, the day before, like they camp out, yep. standing there in their diapers. It is actually, that, that fucking ball drop must be the smelliest fucking situation known to mankind. I, why would you ever go there if it just smells like shit everywhere? Because it's New York, so they're used to it. Yeah, it's actually just New York. They probably didn't even know if it's like someone pooping their pants next to them or just the normal city smell. I would bet half the people there go, oh, it's New Year's. Oh, I didn't see anything different. This is just how it is. In the video, everyone walking into the fucking, like, area for the the ball drop, they were carrying diapers. Like, they were, all of them were. It, oh man because they're they're it's stuck like so you can't bad. you can't physically move yeah, once you, you find your spot there it's just so cramped with people yeah it's like being stuck in a car for an hour and a half without moving but doing it in person and actually for like 16 hours wearing a diaper i don't understand why you would ever do that What's so impressive about being in New York for the bull drop? People are fucking weird to me, man, where they want experiences even though, like, they want the title of an experience, not the actual experience. Another great example of that. They want to be able to say they did it. Yeah. Another another great example of that is Mount Everest. Like, a lot of people now climb Mount Everest, a lot, to the point where they have fucking trail markers and basically, like, man-made staircases to the top and back down you kind of just single fire your way up to the fucking peak and people still do it even though it's not a thing anymore it just is it's like oh you did it congratulations you walked up wait wait. walking up mount everest is a bit more than just walking up it's still an accomplishment okay it is but it's not nearly what it used to be of scaling it on your own and figuring out the path and actually traversing the mountain now you have sherpas that basically tell you how to get all the way up we're comparing climbing like even if you're you're being told how to do it you're comparing (laughs) climbing the tallest mountain on earth to standing pooping in front of a ball that drops York. and pooping your pants, yeah. <laughs> like, it's so vastly different. But the point is that there are things I, I that agree. people say, there are people say, oh, this is what I did, this is something I did, but it, to me, that's not, you didn't really, because the experience is just, you know what I mean? It's so overdone now and so filled with people and so solved that the experience sucks ass. If you went to the New York... If you went to the New York People ball still die drop, on Mount Everest, by the way. <laughs> People still die up there. Yeah, it still happens quite a bit. I would compare it more to something like getting uh, Billie Eilish shoes that you waited in line for for six yeah. hours or something, yeah, right? Or like a new having, iPhone like, release. That's another one. Yeah, I'd compare, I'd compare it much more to that than <laughs> climbing Mount Everest. I don't think the actual... I don't think the actual achievement is what matters. I'm saying these are experiences that are so ubiquitous in culture. Everyone knows of oh, them. Right. That there's nothing in imp- Oh, gotcha. Yeah, there's like nothing special to it anymore. Like it's nice that you did it, but it you could find something so much more meaningful of an experience instead of just checking it off a list. You know what I mean? Well, but I okay, sure. Like everyone's not everyone, but a lot of people, more people now have climb mount everest than ever before sure yeah i still feel like it's a like an incredible feat though to climb that mountain like I, I, none of us could do it i can guarantee you that if you have the money you can why, why do you say that yeah well I, I, I think andrew's whole point was that it's not this exploration trailblazing anymore yes. you buy a ticket and you go and what people is? show you where to walk up and you go it is tedious no doubt the weather sucks. You're carrying God knows how many pounds of equipment. It is difficult, but it's not like you're breaking new ground here. You're just number 47,000 in line. Yeah. Walking up the mountain to take a selfie and come down. Right. I think, I think if they're doing it to like post an Instagram thing, then it's like comparable. Like they, okay, I, they I have another one. I think that it's important. I, I have okay. another one that I just thought of that's an even better example. The Leading Tower of Pisa. 
It's like going there yeah. and pretending to hold the tower up for a photo. It, you, it's sure. it's just things mm -hmm. where you're just like, this is nothing. This is just actually nothing except you going, I did that too. The New York ball dropped yeah. the tower piece. It's like these are just, they're so played out and so just whatever by this point. You know, come up with something more interesting. Do something more, more anything, more personal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the kind of shit I'm talking like, about. I get, I get your point, and I agree with the Pisa and the fucking New Year's event. But again, I was just like, uh, Everest is just such a big thing. I okay, think, Everest, still. Everest is, is something more to it. Fair. Okay, fair. It was the first example I came up with off the top of my head. But, you know, iPhone launch, Billie Eilish shoes, Leaning Tower Pisa, yeah. New York ball drop. All these experiences where all you do is get in a crowd and just do what everyone else is doing and then say, I did that. They're just nothing, you know? I think your original point was, like, really accurate, that people care more about the title of the experience yes. than the experience itself. Yes. Which Thank I, you. I yes, do yes, agree yes. with. That is exactly it. Where people, because you talk about it on the surface and they go, I went to the ball drop in New York. I was there. I was in Times Square. But then when you finally sit down and go, so tell me about your trip, they go, oh, I had to wear diapers and I stood in a crowd for a day and a half. It's like, <laughs> that's not, that sucks. That's not exciting or cool. That's garbage. Well, you're supposed to leave that part out of the story when you tell it. <laughs> that's when you have to embellish it a bit. All they ever say is, oh, I was at the ball. I was at the ball drop. Look at that. It's so cool. But it's not. It's a shitty experience. We need to... We have to stop perpetuating yeah. that these things are cool. They're not cool. They're lame and stupid. Okay, here's how we do it. Shitting your, shitting your pants with diapers has never been cool. That's not what, <laughs> where, like, that's not because, what they celebrate. But the, but the ball drop is cool to people because they leave that part out. They don't talk about that part. We need to start talking yeah. about that part. We need to make that yeah, the public consciousness. Does. How does that work How when they do the midnight do kisses, by the way? Like, everyone's kissing Ew. and stuff while they're just fucking filled to the brim with shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I had never considered it before until now. But consider this. How many of those people are like covert, undercover furries who just like shitting their pants and they're just there oh, for yeah. the excuse? Like, oh, yeah, you guys here for the ball drop? Haha, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Farts. People crinkling in the crowd there. Entirely possible. <laughs> Just it's rain first version two. Oh god, it does sound disgusting. Yeah, literally shoot me if I ever have to put a diaper on. What's wrong with wearing diapers? <laughs> oh, everything. the The act is just has got to be so like humiliating to yourself as a person. But what if it's for reasons that are not really in your like? Let's say you get into an accident and your legs don't work for a while. You have to go through rehab, but you also keep shitting yourself, so you're wearing diapers. Should we still put you down? Can't you get, like, a tube or something? Is there some kind of way to get it out without wearing a diaper? To vacuum it out of your ass? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something. I feel like if you're paralyzed from the waist down, you wouldn't even know when you're shitting, so I think you have to wear a diaper, right? Ugh. Doesn't it just leak out of you? It's gonna be so fucking awful. Yeah. You say that like it's actually going to happen. <laughs> like, we have a date set. Oh, that's going to suck. <laughs> I mean, don't most old people end up wearing diapers? I feel like it's a probability. It's a pot. Well, I don't know how likely it is. I just, that's, that's going to kill me <laughs> when that, if that day comes or when that day comes, it's going to kill me. Don't you think you'd be too wearing old diapers? by that point to care? Maybe. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I don't know, learn to love it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you'll come around. Yeah. You can go finally see the New York ball drop. Yeah. You get to poop in front of people. Like, you could just be in a crowd and take a shit, and it'd be fine. How do diapers work? Like, do they... <laughs> Do they absorb it or does it just like smear the shit up against your backside? That's right. It compresses it hard against your flesh so it can go as far as possible, Jackson. <laughs> I, no, I'm serious. I don't know how they work. Does it like... I don't think it compresses it. Isn't it just basically a poop hammock that just keeps yeah, your poop there? Yeah, that's what there? I thought. Uh, I'm yeah. googling. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. <laughs> I think it just absorbs the moisture, but that's also why you constantly have to change your baby's diapers so they don't get a rash from the poop. Yeah, exactly. This is also 
I, I just Googled how does a diaper stop poop as if it was like some kind of raid boss. <laughs> the number one article from Pampers says how to reduce baby diaper blowout. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Is that when it just like the poop explodes from all sides? Yeah, I guess it's called a blowout if it like compresses against your flesh and like leaks out. It's like a mechanical term. Like it's a fucking car. Insider terms for b- diapers. Blowout. Yeah, that's a technical. The medical term is blowout. <laughs> Gonna have to take your diaper in for maintenance. Some shit like that. We should have like like how you have auto garages. We should have like diaper changing garages that you can just stop on the road. Be like, oh, it happened again. Got a blowout. They're in every public bathroom ever. No, yeah. I want a person yeah. to do it for me. Like a like a oh. pull and like oh. a fast food of diaper oh, changing. You're a pervert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A diaper. He wants diaper mechanics. Yeah, I want diaper McDonald's. <laughs> I'll have a yeah, I'll have yeah, a but... extra absorbent, and let me get some uh, tampons for the road. Why not? <laughs> Will you cork it up. <laughs> Go cork me up. I got a long drive ahead. Just really fucking stop the dam, if you will. I have a question for you guys. I was actually thinking about this last night, mm. and I think this is relevant to this kind of concept. It's like a hypothetical question. I was thinking about teleportation, right? Just mm-hmm. as a means of transport. Sure. Because it's fucking awesome, and we, we need to get there. I was thinking, okay, so would you guys teleport? Would you continue to teleport if, in order to do it, you had to smear yourself <laughs> with shit? <laughs> like, cover yourself <laughs> with shit just to, like, for the act of teleportation to happen? How much? Yes. Like, I'm going to go, like, all over your body. <laughs> yeah. And cover it in shit. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't count if I just, like, smear a little mark on my wrist or something just for the ritual? No. No. Full body covered in shit? Yeah. Well, you can leave your eyes, but it's going to, like... <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, how generous. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they found like shit has a protective like element against like time dilation or something. <laughs> so you gotta cover your entire body. Well, then your eyes are gonna pop out in the process. You have to cover them <laughs> yeah. too. Maybe with like shit goggles. <laughs> eyes aren't affected for some reason. I don't know. But yeah. So okay, you- great math. <laughs> All right, Einstein. <laughs> I don't know if I trust this physicist. <laughs> <laughs> so would you guys still do it? If yes. you had to like yes, in a heartbeat. Yeah. You still do it. You just teleport straight to a shower. Well, no, but you <laughs> teleport like in front of people and you're just all smelly and shit. No, you, you teleport shit. into a shower. I don't want to teleport into people, Jackson. I want to teleport into a bank vault and out of it again. That's easy. <laughs> That's just such an easy choice. Drop. I don't care. Just leaving big squelchy shit footprints in the city vault. Oh, that's true. You, how is covering yourself in shit an easy choice? Because it's teleportation. Uh, trillions of dollars. <laughs> yes, no. that's like power. I'm a god now. I don't care yeah. if I stink like poop. I can just rinse that off. Oh, but no. But <laughs> you're not the only one with the power. Everyone is able to do it. Uh, what the fuck? They still they're gonna have laws you. against it, and like overnight, that doesn't make any sense. I thought I'm the only one that has. Jackson, this. you just want random people covered in shit to start appearing in random places on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anything, but also for your example, Kai, you you clearly want it for like the nefarious purposes of like going to bank vaults. In this in this hypothetical world, they've created technology to like zone <laughs> off areas from like uh from poop teleport. Then it's fucking useless, isn't it? Well, no, it's it's useful for, like, getting over to America easily for me. Or, like, to okay, different so places Okay, so you're just quicker. proposing shit showers as an alternative to airlines. I think exactly, I yeah. Shit shower, I guess, yeah. You would? Yeah, so it's there we go. It's, it's by airlines. That's my hypothetical, though. It's more of an interesting thing, then, because you're, like, you're either giving up... Uh, you're either, you either have to give up instantaneous teleportation... Or you have to like sit on a plane for you know twelve hours or whatever. So cover yourself in shit. Will do that. Which one? <laughs> shit. Still shit, huh? Yeah, cause I mean, okay, who's providing the shit? Cause and like, how thick does the layer have to be? But yeah, I could just reach into the toilet, cover myself in shit, teleport, and then just shower for like ten minutes or even half an hour. Who cares? The memory of being covered in shit. 
It's not traumatic. Yeah, to what Fuck the... it's poop. It, what it, it, it's what just do you mean it's still traumatic? traumatic? Jackson, oh no. How is being covered <laughs> from head to toe in shit not traumatic? Jackson, that it's is awful. unpleasant, but it still yeah. beats being on a fucking plane and dealing with air. Have you ever have you ever rolled around in the mud? Just imagine that, but stinky. Wow, oh, oh no. Oh, the mud is so much more different. Oh, no, it is way- what is, what is wrong with you? It's way worse than mud. It's not way worse than mud, actually. It is. It is. I'm so- it came from your butt. No, in mud, you'll probably end up it's contracting, favorite. like, some kind of, like, early, like, a fucking roundworm or something, potentially. I don't know. But, like, at least it's your own poop, so it came out of your own yeah. fucking stink factory. Okay, okay. So, all right, all right. For my teleportation experiment or whatever, you've got to cover yourself in mud entirely from feet to t- head, or you've got to cover yourself in shit from feet to head. Which one do you choose? You choose the uh, mud, I'd do probably you? do mud. Yeah, I'd do You're mud. You're fucking sick yeah, freak. <laughs> what are you... T- what? Wait, wait, you're saying you would choose mud? Yeah, I'd choose the mud. Oh, yeah, okay, that proves my point then. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> well, you had already predetermined I said poop and you reacted to that <laughs> yeah, even though I said mud. Why, why, why did you jump on him? <laughs> I, I heard what I wanted to hear. Never mind, you agreed with me, that's fine. So, I don't know where I was going with the point anyway, but so I was right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what your point was. You have to smear yourself in shit, but it, also you can't rob banks. Or have fun with it. Yeah, Jackson, it yeah, seems no, like every time, every time Kaya society. goes, yes, I do it because I do this, you go, well, you can't do that. Would you still cover yourself well, no, but Yeah, because that wasn't that wasn't the part of the hypo- hypothetical. It was more about the, like, circumventing, you know, flights, like, travel time instead of, like, robbing banks and stuff. I wanted to focus on that part. So okay, it has well, to. You can't dangle teleportation in front of us like that. So then. you can only teleport to places you could fly. So I can only like teleport between airports. Is that what you're saying? You can teleport anywhere that the government hasn't set up an anti poop teleport. Like they coat the bank vaults in a special type of poop that like counters the poop that you use. <laughs> I would teleport inside of your asshole and explode you like a meat suit. My nemesis poop. <laughs> yeah, that's not nice. No, Jackson, again, <laughs> most people would take that deal, I think. It, now, it would be different if I covered myself in shit just to, you know, dodge like a 10 minute walk. That's yeah. where you go, oh, Kai, you did this just so you didn't have to walk to the grocery store? That's a little suspicious. But if I'm teleporting to the other end of the world, that saves me so much time. Think larger scale. It's not one poop per teleport, right? So if you cover yourself in poop at the beginning of the day, you can teleport unlimited times throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. But you're still covered in poop throughout the entire day. Yeah, but you can also teleport endlessly. Yeah, but but you're going to be happy to be around other people. You, uh, why are you guys so fine with having poop on you? Because <laughs> I don't you wash it, it off. It's not, that, <laughs> it's not that big of a fucking deal. Yeah, yeah. Take a How are you? Oh, of the, all the people that I thought were going to be on my side, it would be you, Charlie. With how much of a germaphobe you are. I'm not a germaphobe. I'm a hypochondriac. Germs don't bother me that much. It's just what germs bring <laughs> that bother me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So would you have a different, like, would you be against this if you had to put other people's poop on you? Yeah, then at that point, then I'd have a very hard time with it, for sure. All right, All right. so what if, mm. like, a certain amount of it had to be, like, a special government-made poop? Like, they've got teleportation, <laughs> humans- Oh, well, if it's FDA-approved shit, then I'm fine <laughs> with it, Patty formula? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually like, gonna say, other people's poop might be preferable if you're robbing the bank, because you don't want to leave your own poop for DNA evidence. Right? Yeah. There's, there's no, yeah. You there's want no to frame somebody else. They're going to think you you're covered the, in your own poop. That's how you trick them. You get the forensics confused. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, he must have, he must have got his teleportation method from this physicist that really likes scat fetish shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all adding up now. Doesn't he know he can just use Coca-Cola? <laughs> <laughs> We have this special suit just for this purpose. It's also really comfortable, but he's still using the poop method. <laughs> <laughs> I also wonder how this would change, like, geopolitical stuff. Like, if armies could just invade other countries by smearing themselves with poop, and then you've just got poop warriors <laughs> teleporting into country. That's what this is all about, Jackson. You just wanted to pitch your pilot for Poop Warriors, the new Adult Swim cartoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally comes out. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I I think I would still choose to travel via air. I don't think I'd be able to cover myself in shit just to teleport somewhere. Can I bring stuff with me? 
Uh, you can bring poop with you. Can I bring, like, if I touch something, can I bring it with me when I teleport? No. Hmm. Well, what if he covers it in shit? Why couldn't he? Yeah, yeah why couldn't he bring yeah. something what covered if I, in shit? Well, so okay. What if I shove my wallet up my ass? Would that come with me? <laughs> okay, yeah, you could, you could shove, you could cover this stuff in shit, and that'll let it come. As long as it's passing, like, oh yeah, as long as the shit is all connected. Then done, across, done like, deal, man. Entity. I take a, I take out my credit card. I, I shit on that. I travel with it. I get in the shower. I wash everything off, and I just buy a new set of clothes and whatever I need. And I'm on a free vacation after that. <laughs> It's not a free vacation. You paid for it. No you airfare, no card. waiting travel time, no anything. You're just there. Okay. Jackson, point is like go into the bank vault and I sh smear all the gold bars with oh shit. And fucking take them good. With There's no what? bank. They've set up anti <laughs> Jackson, that's the only teleportation. Thing that, like, ah! When you say teleportation, that's what people are going to use it for. Yeah, but I've said the government in this world has decided that they're going to like save all the bank vaults and protect it in anti ship matter. That doesn't let shit pass through, so there's no teleporting in there. Well, maybe there's like a special formula I can use of mixing dog poo and human poo and <laughs> chimpanzee poo that lets me face through it, like the Flash. I don't know. <laughs> what if you gotta? What if you gotta like travel with your girlfriend or whatever? Then you both gotta be covered in shit to go together. You gonna make her fly on a plane? I mean, she can still take the plane if that's what she chooses. She can teleport onto the plane covered in shit. <laughs> and by the time she arrives, I'll have taken a shower and I'll be sparkly clean in a robe. Comfy. Yeah, but she'll have known that you got there by covering yourself in shit. She'll never be able to look at you the same. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to look at you the same. No one would. Why? What's Because wrong? you're covered in shit. You've, you've got shit. You've been covered in shit at some point in your life. So That's what? So gross. I was covered in shit as a baby. At some point. Not from head to toe. Yeah. I don't think you guys are, like, realizing how much I mean. I mean, like, every square inch of you has to be covered in shit. It's, it's just really not that big of a deal. <laughs> it is. Shit is so gross. What is wrong with you people? Okay, let's go in order, Jackson. Would you do it with piss? With piss? Piss is sterile, right? No, I think that's a myth. I don't know. Oh, is it's it? It's still stinky. Um... Fuck. I, I would do it with piss before I would do it with shit, yeah. So you would do it, though? E e e depends on the amount of travel, but yeah, I think so. Oh, you're so gross. How am I going to look at you the same way again, you piss fetishist? Yeah, you were covered in piss, Jackson. Golden shower boy, loser. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> yucky. If I'm super hydrated, you won't even be able to tell. It'll be, like, so clear. That's right. You should piss on yourself right now and see if we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Shower yourself with it. Yeah. Someone in chat had a good one. What if you needed to be covered in cum? <laughs> Would you still do it? Who's cum? <laughs> yep. Um, all right, let's start with yours. My Your own? own? Oh, 100%. Andrew's. We all have to be covered in Andrew's cum. Oh, everyone would love that. Right? It takes I, so long to get prepped, though. <laughs> like, you'd have to wait yeah. so long to get enough quantity. You'd have to save every load. Oh, like your girl oh, swallowing yeah. it, you'd be like, no, you wasted it. No, how am I supposed to teleport now, you bitch? What? Stick your fingers down her throat. Throw it up, throw it up. I get one of those fucking cum jars and I go, no, my secret formula. <laughs> Your girlfriend swallows your cum and she vanishes. She just fucking vanishes like a fucking Harry Potter port key. <laughs> She's on Saturn. <laughs> Suffocates. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Well, would you do nah. it, Jackson? Well, Andrew's cum would just come in general. Just in general without uh, teleportation. Your own. My own, yeah. It comes fine. I'm, I, yeah. How about fine. mine? My, my own. No, not yours. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so we go, we go cum, piss, then shit. Would you do it if we told you it's an anonymous donor, we tested it for STDs, it's completely <laughs> clean, quote-unquote clean, yeah. as far as cum can be. Would you do it? It, it even has yeah, a mild it, taste. It's, it's not particularly smellier. Or I'm, no, I'm not tasting. putting it in my mouth. Or salt. It doesn't go. Well, yeah. it, it has to cover your lips, Jackson. It has to cover your lips. Unless you want to rip dude. them off during teleportation. And your oh, eyes. Wait. You know how cum oh, stings? Wait. wait. 
So you're saying shit has to cover your lips as well, and you're fine with that? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, now it's changed things. This is the worst Isaac Asimov novel I've ever heard of. <laughs> This has changed the whole dynamic, like, hasn't it, boys? Now you're fucking tasting shit. Well, could I like wear a mask to and just no. hear the mask? With I the poop? would do it, man. It's teleportation. No. Like it's god. It's literal god power. Yeah, I'm yeah, literally I'd giving you teleportation it. outside of outside of bank vaults. I don't care about the bank vaults. I teleported. I'm letting you. I'm letting you keep it out of your eyes, but it's going on your fucking. Thank lips. you. I guess. And also, teleportation is this weird fucking dynamic thing. It's just weird how teleportation works. Every and time and you also, teleport, it makes your penis you come out smaller. Licking your lips. And, and also, no one will ever love you if you do it. And also, what? also, uh, it makes aliens invade if you use it. Would you still do it? No, no, no. When you teleport, you you come out like licking your lips, like it's you're really parched. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's it's a dehydrating experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just so thirsty, you subconsciously start licking, even though there's poopy yeah, there. And then it's like, what oh, if shit, I teleport yeah, myself shit. to the nearest pool of wherever I'm going, then? Oh, that's fine. All right, yeah, Jackson, you can do let that. Me, Jackson, let me up the playing field here. You don't have to cover yourself in shit, but in order to teleport, you have to eat a nugget of shit. Would you do it? Mm. Uh, you, no. No? A bigger nugget. What? One tiny nugget of poop? A little you nugget of poop. Yeah, how, how big? When you say nugget, it's like, like that's a nugget. still large like enough to a, get like a... You've had nugget-sized still... poops before, like a poop nugget. Right, yeah. Sick. This, this, this is still large enough <laughs> to fucking get a taste. I, is it like, does it count if I just take like a hamster pebble poop? Oh, yuck. It's, it's gotta be, let's say a gram of poop. How much is that? Use like a grape, like a like the size of a grape. Yeah, like a grape of poop. How about okay. that? Like a mm, grape sized no. poop. Well, do I have to like let it dissolve on my tongue and swish it around <laughs> for the powders to work, or can I just <laughs> hold my nose and down the hatch see, take a I, shot of poop? I would test it first by blending it in a smoothie and see if I, that would work. Oh, yeah. that, that'd be so much worse. <laughs> that would be worse. <laughs> Enjoying it. No, I'd cover it in yummy fruits. <laughs> yes, I'd never a book. <laughs> like a pill for a doggy covered it in peanut butter. <laughs> My cookbook is how to cook with poop. <laughs> I think it's I can so make gross. a if I well hang on, hang on. If it's just gonna be a nugget of poop, you could hide it in a giant drink. Like I could get a like a like a two liter of soda and just no. put it in there and shake it up. And then you're drinking poop for two liters, brother. It's like, <laughs> yeah. so much worse. <laughs> that just prolongs it and spreads the taste. If you're going to do this, you just want to get it over and done with. Yeah, would you rather just yeah. swallow it in one go and get it over and done with or yes. have like like a very very yes. diluted experience I would that you make, can power no. down? Just over I would make poo I would make poo pills. Like, you know how you can buy the yeah. capsules that you can fill yourself that no, dissolve in your it's stomach? Be, so it's you gonna don't be taste the size anything. of a grape. Oh, that's a genius it's idea. Yeah, I mean, it would be a lot of capsules, like 10 capsules, but, you know, I still don't taste anything. No, besides the no it has to be the size of a grape. Yeah, and also, be, like, you, you have to taste it by licking your lips, Kaya. And no bank vault. <laughs> And saying, mmm, that's the secret incantation, too. <laughs> yeah, you have okay. to say, mmm, I really like this poop nugget before you teleport. As soon as you take it, it goes on national news that you took it. And it has your face and your real name. <laughs> well, everyone's, everyone's going to know you're doing this because you're teleporting everywhere. <laughs> I don't have to tell them how I did it. Yeah, well, also, no one would care. Everyone knows. Everyone has the same rules. Thus, everyone would be teleporting because everyone's going to eat some poop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it could change the culture and everyone's just fine with poop now. You'd be a fool to not eat yeah. the poop, Jackson. Yeah. I'm not eating the yeah, poop. Idiot. I, I'm, I might be convinced to cover myself in poop, though. If it's, <sighs> oh my God. If it's well, that, that is sure. worse. I would. St it's honestly would, worse because then it's soaking into your skin. I would arguably it's rather eat a tiny nugget of poop to teleport than cover myself head to toe in shit. I'd really have to think about that. Yeah. I don't Jackson, you could just agree. swallow it and then wash it down with yeah. like high percentage alcohol so well, you don't well, feel anything in your mouth. Yeah, first of all, I can't swallow tablets. I fucking I can't, so I'd be chewing it, which I don't want to do that. Yeah, but it's poo, it's like yeah. soft, right? All right, all right, Jackson, would you do it? Would you swallow the poop nugget if it was poop, but let's say we coated it in a spray, a magic flavor spray that made it taste 
okay. Like it, it tasted fine, but you knew for a Gales. fact it was what? your poop. Wait, fine, but not good. So it tastes okay. It tastes it's palatable. Tolerable. Uh, well then, yeah, I think I could mentally trick myself into thinking that this is fine if it just okay. tastes fine. See, then you can over time mm. build up the tolerance to just eat straight poop and not think about that. But hang on, Jackson. How do you know poop doesn't taste fine right out the gate? So <laughs> yeah, have you ever tried it? You're not convincing me to eat my shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> this is going to be the grossest episode ever. This is this is going to make people. Would sick you do it reading. for twenty dollars, Jackson? No. Oh, Why does it always come back to try to buy me to do these? Because weird I have twenty dollars in my wallet, and and I might have to poop. <laughs> Well, no way. I thought this. I thought I was. I thought we collectively were eating our own poop. If you want to be boring about it, yeah, yeah. Mm. This was this was philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> but what, Jackson? What power would you actually accept in exchange for eating shit? Uh, uh having like really good luck, maybe. Like being extremely lucky. On the lottery, well, just anything. Just like you, you're born with like an, like a, I don't know, like a feat in Baldur's Gate three where you have like incredible luck, where everything mm. just goes your way. I do it for that, or and maybe, you, maybe like if in, you had to in, eat in poo every day to maintain it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be questioning what luck means at that point if I was born having to eat shit every single day just to maintain my life. <laughs> I don't think that would be lucky. <laughs> I think that would probably call into question the entire like hypothesis at that point. <laughs> but maybe. Mm. I think I think I've got it all figured out. My superpower, yeah. if I had to do that, would be the power to love eating shit. You see, I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> the fetishist. The power to find shit delicious. Man, imagine yeah. oh, imagine if we were born those shit Twinkie dudes that like eating that the, the the you know the fucking Twinkies filled with shit from those models online. Uh, imagine if we were born with that kind of fetish, and then this would be so easy for us. Yeah, could, like probably they'd be the kings like of this universe. I, it. I wish every day that I had a shit eating fetish. You're right, Jackson. No, but Jackson, let's say every time you swallow the poo, you also jerk off and come. You could train your brain because we have neuroplasticity, right? You could train yourself to enjoy the experience and not mind it as much. Yeah, I'm sure you could over time. But like it's those initial first moments or the first times that you do it, which would be fucking awful, obviously. But so here's what I think. I think if everyone's got this ability, the shit, the shit teleportation ability, I think eventually culture will just be okay with covering yourself in shit. Like shit will just be a normal a normal thing like covering yourself in shit would be normal oh, yeah. eventually of course like give it like 20 years and then it would be normalized and then people would be covering themselves in shit for fun not even maybe two weeks before airline companies just switch over from planes to septic tanks here buy a ticket and <laughs> jump into the septic tank teleport <laughs> It's kind of ingenious. And you can actually. teleport right into a shower on the other well, end. Yeah. That's pretty smart. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, just filling up a septic tank with shit is way more convenient than shitting on the floor and covering yourself slowly in the fucking shit. That would actually be like a hack. <laughs> yeah. Nobody said floor. <laughs> were, you, were you planning on rolling around and just like a slug? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know how else, you, how else would you fucking do it? <laughs> how else would you cover yourself with shit? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, jump jumping in the septic tank, that's fucking that's smart, yeah. Because you wouldn't even need to really like it would it would be like one second, and then you're teleported. Yeah, the mm. nearest porta potty. Just remove the lid and the cover and the seat, and just jump in. Like those kids on Schindler's List. You guys got anything else, or do you guys want to wrap there? I'm ready to wrap. No, my last topic was: Would you cover yourself in shit? But I think you, I think you got that covered, Jackson. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. You're Not welcome. Really. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for more episodes that contain just as many stupid fucking shit as that. Um, we've also got Criminally Stupid as well as uh, Red Thread. Uh, both are out. Both are on Spotify. Links below. <coughs> Links below. You can find all of that stuff down below in the episode. 
Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and holiday period, New Year's, all that. And I hope 2024 is excellent for everyone in the audience. I really hope you guys like this episode and enjoy the rest of your year. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Bye.